Good morning, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this beautiful bracelet. It's done using some Super Duo, some size eights. We got a couple rounds in here and I used a really cute um, clasp and it's a fish and a hook clasp. So you just hook it on and then you pop it on. And I'll show you the pattern up close. Looks like this. And I will show you another colorway. This one I made just for fun. I wanted a nice bright color for summertime. And then this one I made for myself. And I love magnetic clasps. A lot of people don't like them, but I just love them. And I fell in love with the Super Duo color, which is why I made this one for myself. And this is what it looks like on, just so you can see. Really comfortable, beautiful bracelet. Now this is beginner friendly. You just have to be comfortable with working with a lot of thread. That way you don't have to add in thread later on. I'm gonna do this in stages because the only hard part is getting this middle part as straight and sturdy as we can. You want that to be solid. So that's the only hard part and it's not hard, it's just reinforcing so it's a little tedious. I'm gonna leave this right here and I'm gonna show you on some very bright colors. But first we're gonna get our materials together. You will need some Super Duos and make sure you check your holes. I know I say that all the time, but you don't want any problems when you're going down the bracelet. So just go through and check your holes with a needle or a beading awl. You'll need some size eight seed beads, some four millimeter rounds, some three millimeter rounds, just a few size 11s, and that's what I used here just for the clasp, and then a clasp of your choice. And uh, you know, like I said, I chose a magnetic for this one, a hook and eye for this one, and if you wanna put a pop in there, that's what these are for. Just a little pop of color, a little something different to decorate my ends. I just used a pretty clear crystal here and for the one that I'm going to show you after the one we'll finish on I'm going to use these beauties and then I'm going to add a toggle and then you're going to need your fire line or whatever stringing material you like this is eight pound test you'll need a size 11 beading needle and you're going to go ahead and pull two yards of fire line I'm just going to make a little bit of room here So two yards, size 11 beading needle, and we're ready to go. We're gonna start by picking up four size eights. We're gonna drop them down and you're gonna leave a 10 inch tail. And that's just so you can add your beautiful clasp and decoration on the end. And I wrap it around my finger like this. So we got four eights. My working thread is coming out this way, my tail this way gonna come around and go back through all four and I'm gonna do that one more time go back through all four so you go through twice and then I pull and it still doesn't look very impressive so we're just gonna go through one size eight at a time and this is important because this is how I kept that shape so solid and each time you go through a size eight, you're gonna pull nice and tight. So just go through each one. Go right past that tail, pretend it doesn't even exist. And we're gonna exit the size eight that's directly across from the tail. So that's what it should look like. So here's your tail and here's your working thread. That's right where you should be. Okay, so here goes our pattern. It's always gonna be three super duos, a size eight, three super duos. We're coming out this top. We're just gonna bring it around and go back through the eight in the opposite direction. And I flip my work and now we're just gonna go through all these beads again. 
and try not to let that tail get in your way. Just tuck it, tuck it in your hand and just reinforce this whole area. Okay, you're gonna do that so you exit that size eight that's up top in between those super duos. I just gotta pull down a little harder. It's a little loose for me. And pop out right here. That size eight. Pick up three. This is the next repeat. So it's just gonna be this back and forth for the whole length. Three size eights coming out of an eight in this direction. We're just gonna come around Go back through the eight in that direction. Pull and I flip. I do this because it helps me keep my tension um, very tight. Now we'll just go through one bead at a time. All the way around because it's very loose and this is how I got that shape to stay nice and sturdy in the center. And now we'll go back to our Three super duos, one eight, three super duos. So we're coming out the top of this eight. You know we're gonna bring it around and go right back through that eight. Pull and I flip and go through all these beads one more time. Like I said, this is the only time consuming part. And it is very important um, to do this step though, because see how loose and wobbly everything is. And as soon as you do this, everything just tightens right up. All right, and then we're gonna exit this eight and now we know we're gonna pick up three size eights coming out in this direction. So I'm gonna bring it around, go right back through that eight, pull, flip over and go through one at a time. So I'll go through one eight at a time. All right, I'll show you one more time. So it'll be, this is your repeat alternating. So we know when you're coming out of the top of this group, you're gonna pick up three super duos and eight and three super duos. And you're gonna go back around and through the eight in this direction. Pull, flip your work, retrace everything that you just put on. Poke out that eight, pick up one, two, three, coming out that eight. So we're gonna bring it around and go back through. And then we'll retrace this whole area as well. And I'm gonna stop right here, move on to one that I already have done. So when you finish, you wanna make sure that you end with the eights on each end. So don't end with the super duos. You want the eights to, to be the ending. All right, I'm gonna move this example piece over. I will not be putting a colorway for this because um, it was just practice beads, but I will put a colorway for this and definitely this beauty because this one's going to be sharp. So when I say um, end with your size eights, that's how you should have both ends should have that group of four size eights on the end. Okay, and I am not the best measurer, <laughs> which is why this bracelet is eight and a half inches. So you have to 
keep in mind that you will be adding about an inch. This is three quarters of an inch on each end for the clasp. So I did, and I can tell you this is gonna be a six and a half inch bracelet right here. And that just, yeah, that's six and a half right there. And I did the same amount of sets. So I can put that down if you'd like. I'll take a note and put, if you want a six and a half inch bracelet, You'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten sets of super drills. And then you can go from there. If you need a seven inch, add a couple more. But measuring is definitely not my strong suit. Kind of just wing it. That's just the way I've been doing it for years. But I like a bracelet to fit nice and solid. I don't want it spinning around and stuff like that. So. This is going to be another cute, fun one. Okay, so we ended with our size eights. I'm going to try to put this in an area where you can see the detail. Okay, we're going to use our size 11s right now. And you won't need many, like I said. All right, so we're coming out this eight, we're just gonna pick up three 11s, your bead of choice, and if you wanna just use a size eight, that would look beautiful too. And then six size 11s. Drop it down, and we're gonna just skip those 11s, go right back through that bi cone. Pick up three 11s. And now we want to even it out so we know we want to go through the eight in this direction. Because we want it to be perfectly even, just like right here. And then of course, I'm gonna go through and reinforce real quickly. So I'm gonna run up these three, the bicone at the top is where I like to just go through three. and then down three. And that way I can just hook my um, jump ring right in between there. And I'll show you that at the end too. And then right back down into the work. And then I'll show you where we're gonna exit. So we'll go right back through these three 11s, through this eight, through this eight. So we're right here, we're coming out this eight right before that super duo. So go through that eight and then we're gonna go into the upper hole of that super duo right there. And I'm gonna flip because I like to work down one side at a time here. So we're gonna run down this side right now with our super duos. So we're gonna pick up one super duo, go through the next super duo. I'm gonna move over so you can see this really good. So one into the next, and I'm just gonna pull everything so it's nice and straight. I don't like that buckle right there. Okay, and now we'll go and pick up one more super duo. Go into the next super duo, but this time I want you to pick up that size eight as well. And then jump right up into that upper hole of the new super duo. And I'll put it down going to zoom in just so you make sure to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So we'll add a super duo. Pop it in there. Super duo. And when I'm adding the second one, I'm going to grab that eight right there. 
pull and go right up into that upper hole. So that's going to be the repeat all the way down. It's going to be one, two, and I'm going to grab that size eight and then pick up the upper hole all the way down. And that's why I did the first part for you because you're gonna have to watch me do both sides of this <laughs> and then the decorating part which goes really quick because we're not using little tiny seed beads today we're using rounds, so it works up really fast. The only tedious part, like I said, is making sure your center is nice and solid. So that way you get a really nice, uh, straight, sturdy base. So pick that up. Go up. And continue and you'll do this all the way around and when you get up to the point where the other thread is sticking out just keep going around almost there and you don't have to have a high tension just keep your tension nice and and relax just pull it nice and gently not too tight because if you do too much it'll buckle and not enough and it'll be too loose okay so here we are at the top so we're gonna pick up two and this time we'll pick up that eight and just go right by that other tail the other thread Pick up that eight and jump right into that upper hole. And now I'm gonna flip the work so we're working back down the other end. And so that's what you'll do for this entire side as well. So it'll be one, two, pick up that eight, jump up. Okay, and now I have to talk about why I always wear a Band-Aid on my pinky. Because I get a lot, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of messages, believe it or not. A lot. Um, asking why I wear a Band-Aid on my pinky. And I just want to say I bead so much that I have a slice, like a permanent slice on the side of my pinky. From the fire line. And then every time I bead without a band-aid, it just, it just cuts it back open. So that's why I wear a band-aid there. And this, this one was just a boo-boo I got in the yard. So I said, oh, this is going to look great with all these band-aids. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. And I keep forgetting to st um, step up into that upper hole there. I keep forgetting that step. Down the eight. Make sure that Super Duo pops in there. And then up. Yeah, I'm going to love these colors too. Very summery. I love turquoise anyway, so very, very pretty. Okay, we're getting there. A couple more. And then the fun part was decorating. That's what I love. Because it seems to just pull it all together so quickly once you start decorating. That's what I like. Okay, and so I'm up at the top. And you know me, you know I like to reinforce. Oops, I keep getting snagged there. 
So I'm going to go and continue right through those beads. It's right at the end. And I want to make that part a little bit straighter. So I'm going to go through that eight. And my needle's really bent here. And then I'm going to just do my best to straighten that out. I'm going to go through those three and up and around. So through the bicone, and it is very tight in here because I already went through here a couple times. So very tight actually. All right, let me see if that's, yeah, that straightened it out a lot. And then I'm gonna go back down. So I'm just retracing that whole area. And now we're ready to pop out these three beads. These three elevens, I want you to pop right out there. Again, go through this eight and then kind of straighten it out, just like that. Okay, and we're all done with the super duos, so I'm gonna move those out of our way. Almost done with the seed beads, size 11s too. But right here, we're gonna start decorating. So I'll show you where we are on the bracelet. We are right here. We're getting ready to add that beautiful decoration and then our rounds. And that's pretty much it. Then we're gonna do the other end of the clasp and we're done. Okay, so to get into position, you're just, you're exiting this eight right now in this direction. You're just gonna go down that eight, pick up three size 11s and jump into that upper hole, that super duo right there. So now everywhere you have this space with the two super duos, you're gonna add a four millimeter round. The next space will have a three millimeter round. That's it. So we're gonna put a four millimeter right in between here. And then a three. Alternating all the way down. Four and a three. And don't over pull, just get them in there. If you over pull and crank down, it'll definitely buckle. These, when I designed it, this just fit perfectly, made it lay beautifully. Super fun. Nice quick stitch. Okay, so that's what you'll do for the whole length. And that's why I had you pull a whole bunch of threads so that way you don't have to worry about adding in any thread. We should make it with this amount all the way down and around and then enough to finish this bracelet and then we go back and use this end for our clasp. Because I don't, that's not my favorite part either is adding in thread, it's just um, not, not that fun for me. I like to try to do it in one piece if I can. All right, so I'm at the top, the very last one. So I know I'm gonna pick up three 15s because I want it to match this end right here. And we're gonna just jump into this eight right there. Go through this eight. I'm going to flip again, come out this eight and add three more elevens, jump into that upper hole right there. And again, it'll be a four and a three and a four and a three all the way down. And you can really see it coming together and it looks just so beautiful. Okay. 
Okay. Told you this was the a little bit tedious part to watch. Very easy to do. So that's why I try to shorten them by doing as much as I possibly can off camera because I have um, downloaded some apps that I've tried out where you can pause in the middle of making a video and then return and the quality just wasn't what I expected. Some of them had huge watermarks over them so I choose to do it this way so if I make an error and <laughs> or say something that I can't edit out after, that's why I do this in one shot. So, but it's it's better, it's the best way that I found. So I hope you guys are enjoying them anyway. So we're all the way done, we're up at the top. I'm gonna pick up our last three 11s, go through this eight, and now we're just ready to weave through the eight. And I'm gonna go right into this eight and through these three size 11s, right there. And then I'm gonna hide a knot right here. So right between this super duo and that four millimeter, I'm gonna pick up that thread space and I'm gonna pull two knots in there and then I'm going to run down just do that one more time and if I were you I just use up my extra thread and add a few more knots being very careful though not to pull too hard and that's it and then we'll burn that off we're done with that end get a little bit closer there okay Put a needle onto your other end and we're gonna just do what we did on one side to the other. Same way, so we're just preparing to add the clasp, clasp excuse me. Okay, so we're coming out of that eight. Again, we'll pick up three size 11s, our bicone or whatever you have, and then six, size 11s, drop it down, skip those six, go right back through the bicone, pick up three so it matches, and go into the eight this way. And now all it is is reinforcing this end. Pull that down. Make sure everything is laying properly. Okay. And then I'm going to just retrace this whole area. Up and down and around. And I'll do this a couple of times just to show you. Right back down into the work and again I'm going to throw some knots in probably right around I think I'll hide one right here and I'll show you what I mean by that these size eights I can hide my knots perfectly in so I'm going to grab that thread space right there put my needle in and pull and you can hear the knot snaps right into that eight so you don't even see it. I'm gonna do that a couple times and I am gonna run through this again because it does not feel nice and secure to me. So I'm gonna pull really hard. I want it a little straighter, a little stronger. And back down through the bicone. those 11s and again we'll pop out that eight and pull and make sure everything is nice and neat and that feels much better 
And so where am I coming out here? That eight, I'm gonna throw a knot right there. Pop it in. And then I'm gonna weave down just like I did on the other side into the eight, those three elevens, and that one super duo and put a knot right there. This is just me. This is how I um, end my work. But uh, since I have extra thread, I would go down and do it a couple more times. All right. So we'll burn that end off. And now all we have to do is attach our toggle. Let me grab my pliers. And I already have a jump ring attached on here. So I'm just gonna open it up. And I'm gonna pop that end right through there. Slip it on and close it up. Now I don't know if you've worked with jump rings before, but you always hold it like this and you open it like this. Never this way. Never back and forth, it's always this way. Just in case you've never worked with one. And then we'll pop that in there. Just like that. And close it up. <clears throat> Let's see how pretty that looks. That looks so beautiful. I love these colors. Definitely. That's beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as I have. Um, I had so much fun designing it. I will actually be putting these three colorways in the description box below. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Um, so far, I've loved all your comments. I'm so thankful and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. Thank you very much and have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.